good evening students uh, today i'll start with the estimation of another manhole this is the given drawing this is slightly different from the previous manhole you have stepped brickwork here and you have rcc slab here and also here and the plan is like this here they have not given any reinforcement details they have taken the sectional elevation along this direction and this is the diagram and the elevation along this direction is this one coming to the question you need to give the detailed and abstract estimate of the given manhole you have to work out earthwork in excavation pcc bed burn brick work all these three in cubic meter and pointing this is cement pointing in square meter and 20 mm plastering for floor this is not for the wall this plastering work is for the floor and for the chamber with cement mortar 1 is to 3 this also in square meter and you have to work out for rcc work and a manhole cover coming to the estimation part uh, first work as usual earthwork in excavation now you are very familiar with this length is here they have given directly 3 meter all dimensions are in centimeter so this will become 3 meter and breadth will become 1.9 meter depth you have to count from the bottom 0.2 plus 0.4 plus 0.5 plus 1.2 plus 0.6 at this point road uh after point 6 you have to count this slab thickness that is point 1 so depth of earthwork will be point 1 point 6 1.2 point 5 point 4 and point 2 if you work out it comes to 3 meter so length breadth and depth all together will give you 17.1 cubic meter earthwork plain cement concrete length and breadth is similar to earthwork and depth is 0.2 here 0.2 thickness of pcc bed a burn brick masonry since they are stepped work you need to work out step wise step 1 step 2 step 3 first step is of thickness 0.4 first step is 0.4 second step 0.3 third step 0.2 and corresponding depths are mentioned here we need to work out the length length is two times of 0.4 by 2 plus 2 plus 0.4 by 2 two times and again two times of 0.4 by 2 0.9 and 0.4 by 2 see here this is how you need to calculate the length so it comes to 7.4 meters and depth depth of the first step is 0.4 plus 0.5 this whole depth 0.4 plus 0.5 you can observe in the drawing this length and this length is not same but actually it will not be like this this length and this length is same so total depth of first step will be 0.9 throughout 0.9 similarly for the second step same thing just you have to replace the wall thickness that is 0.3 replace 0.4 by 0.3 you will get 7 meters length will be 7 here breadth will be 0.3 and depth let's check here 
This is the depth of the second step. One point two. Here there is small deduction which you can ignore. Only this point. So depth of the second step is one point two. That will give you this number. Third step, same thing. You have to replace this point two. If you replace with point two, that is the wall thickness, you will get three point. Eight. Uh, one thing you have to note down here: in the third step, this dimension is not same. Here it is two meter, but here it is point six. So length calculation is different here. Two times of point two plus point six. Sorry, point two by two, point six plus two by two. I'll come again. Length of the third step is two times of point two by two plus point six. Plus point two by two, and again two times of point two by two, point nine plus point two by two. That will give you the length of the third step. That is three point eight meter. You can cross check with this calculation. And depth. Depth is this one. That is. Actually, it should be point six. Directly, you can write point six. Here, you can observe directly. You can write the depth of the third step. That is zero point. Directly, you can. Work out its four cubic meter. That is the calculation for bond brick masonry work. Next is cement pointing. Pointing is done for the walls. That is these walls and all wherever the walls are there, there you have to do the cement pointing. Since the dimension here and here are different, you can take it in two steps. Uh, first. to pointing up to the slab over the working chamber that means up to this point up to this point uh, length will be 2 times of 0.2 plus 2 times of 0.9 here 2 times of 2 plus 0.9 that is 5.8 depth is 0.5 plus 1.2 this one 0.5 plus 1.2, and no need to do the plastering at this point here. Here, no need to do. So depth of the pointing is for this whole wall. See this plus this is 1.2 plus 0.5. And coming to this point, it is length is 0.6. Two times of zero point six plus zero point nine, and uh, depth will be point six. See, two times of point six plus point nine for the third step pointing, and depth will be point six. All together will give you eleven point six six square meter cement pointing. Now it is. 20 mm plastering for floor and chamber with cement mortar one is to three. For flooring, that means at this point, length is actually it should be length is two meter. It is the area floor area. You have to give the length and breadth like this. Length is two meter, and while taking the width, actually it should be point nine. But you have to add point three meter extra for channel curvature. They asked for the plastering for the floor as well as for the chamber. That means for this curvature like this. The slope to give the slope, 
just randomly you can take instead of taking 0.9 you can exceed it with 0.3 meters that's what it is that's why it is 0.9 meters two meter length is 2 meter as it is but uh, b value should be increased with 0.3 it is area so no depth if they have mentioned here they have mentioned the rate in cubic meter then in the depth column you need to take 0.2 and you have to give the volume since they have given the rate in square meter we are not just give the area that is 2.4 square meter next is rcc work in the diagram you can observe this is also rcc slab and this is also rcc slab this is of thickness 10 cm and this slab is of thickness 12 cm so need we Yes, uh, two meter plus point one minus point six. Length of this is I am repeating again. Two meter plus point one minus point six. Here you can see point one. This one, oh, which I explained, this is this lab at the working chamber. It is two meter plus point one minus point six. That is one point five meter is the length, and B value is on that side. It will be. on the other side since they have not given clearly for this slab on the other side they have not given clearly but assuming the 10 cm bearing on both the sides it is 1.1 that is same 0.1 plus 0.9 plus 0 0.1 1.1 meter and depth of that slab is 12 cm that is 0.12 12 cm and for this slab at the manhole cover length will be 0.1 plus 0.6 plus 0.1 that is 0.8 this one and similarly on the other direction here clearly it is mentioned it is 0.1 plus 0.9 plus 0.1 that comes to 1.1 meter and its thickness is 10 centimeter they have given that is 0.1 so you will get 0 0.09 if you add both you will get 0.286 cubic meter this is the working of this is the calculation for the rcc work if you couldn't understand this step you can ask in the discussion class i'll explain it again and next is very simple that is a manhole cover one number directly you can write one number and abstract estimation same thing question copy the question quantity from the above table detailed estimation table it's rate from the question and you will get all uh, next class i'm going to start the steel work that is the estimation of the steel dress if you want Till manhole calculations, let me know. I'll follow up with it. Thank you.